Good evening, my sisters and brothers in the struggle, and to those of you who don't know that you are in the struggle. <laughs> my name is Kimberly Mitchell, and I work at Macy's, downtown DC. We are one of the largest retailers in Washington, DC. I just celebrated 10 years, and thank you. And I am here to tell you that people should not have to decide between their jobs or staying home and taking care of a sick one, such as a parent or a child. You see? Come on now. This is a necessity that a lot of people here do not experience. The federal government has this such bill um, leave, which we do not have as regular people who get up and work each and every day to serve our community and serve the people that we love. So why should it be a struggle that we should, have, should not be able to stay home and take care of our loved ones in need? The other issue that we have is, is that part-time, as, full-time, as you know, is part-time. Yeah. I am a full-time associate at Macy's, and my schedule is 28 hours a week. Oh. I have a part-time job and a full-time job. I worked yesterday from 9.45 to 10.15. I worked six days this week, both of my jobs, and I have 33 hours worth of pay to take home for. Teach us, teach us. So, as I was leaving work last night, one of the new part-timers came to me and said, Miss Kim, how is it that I had full days worth of work, and when I looked at my schedule when I got here today, I was down to two days? I said, well, sweetie, don't you know on the bottom of your schedule it says that they have 24 hours where they can change your schedule for part-timers, and for full-timers, they have 48 hours? And I said, I know, but your bills don't work that way, because your bills say that in every 30 days, I expect for you to pay them and pay them on time. Oh, help us, help us. So I invited him to heat this place today because I asked him, what are you going to do about it? Because, see, enough of us are sitting on the sidelines and we're not standing up for justice, and we're not marching in the streets and doing what we know needs to be done. I say that we take it to the streets, and if we don't get what we need, shut it down. I've said this before, and I think people must think that I'm joking, but I am not. I will be 50 in October, and I have a 16-year-old daughter that's sitting in the back, and I refuse to go another 10 years and see that we don't get paid family leave. <laughs> and fair scheduling. So I know we're talking about the Clintons and the Trumps, but we need to be talking about the city council, the people who we put in power. So when you are out there and you're standing in line and you see these young people, you need to have a conversation. I am amazed how, how many older people I talk to, and they say, well, that doesn't affect me. I'm getting mine. Really? I don't know if you guys know how many working people are homeless. They get up and go to work each and every day and they are homeless because they do not get enough hours at these large corporations who make sure that we get, we get just enough for transportation. They get us enough to get us there, to take care of their businesses, their customers, to make sure that their shareholders are taken care of, to what? Say thank you, and we'll see you tomorrow to do it all over again. And I am here to tell you that enough is enough. So I know that my time is limited, 
I just want to say on both of those bills that are coming up in September for the city council, the paid family leave and the um, just hours, I did not wake up this morning and go to church and put on my left shoe and my right shoe. I put on both. And we are demanding that both of these bills get passed in the city council at the same time for the workers of Washington, D.C. What we need to do is love up on one each, one, of, one each other and give each other hope. The people in the street, they are hurting and they are dying. And we can no longer let the council dumb down our bills. With the paid family leave, they are looking at not making sure that it covers single parents or children over 18. Are you serious? What city do you live in? Or should I say, what zip code? Because you don't live in mine. Thank you and God bless. <laughs>